Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe to be sure to get your weekly uploads. Okay, let's get to your reading. Capricorn, I feel like somebody has broke your heart. All right, you're on your side, and um, so um, I feel it's going to be. I feel like you are being challenged to release whatever it is that's burdening you and to go and get clarity about it. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here with the Ten of Wands that follow you and the Sun here. All right. Um, we have you at the heart of the reading and the central issue is this injury that uh, that has occurred. Um, here you are sitting here um, hurting. Um, I feel like someone, um, somebody is asking for your forgiveness. I think you could be feeling very bitter towards this person, not trusting them. Um, you may feel like you've kind of been duped, you know, like uh, you feel like they've deceived you and you may be lacking confidence in what they are now uh, or soon about to offer. It depends where you are in this energy, okay? Um, so you're thinking... Uh, okay, so this is, you know, I, I did, didn't see this. And, and you may be kind of blaming yourself even uh, for what has happened. That's what it's feeling like. You know, I should have saw this. I should have. Um, I feel like um, this was... Uh, an unwelcome surprise and there was a deeper issue behind uh, what happened. Um, I feel like you have some very intense feelings when it comes to a new opportunity with this person. Okay, I feel like you're still hurting and you're just maybe not ready yet to forgive this person for this broken heart. Okay, um, you're worried about the future is what I see. Um, there again, you see, this uh, card is repeating one, two, three. It, it's here three times. Okay, this is a strong indicator that... Um, you didn't get what you were wishing for here because of a deeper emotional issue behind uh, a choice that someone made, okay? That was hidden from you, okay? It's like this, this issue going on with this person was hidden from you. You couldn't see it and maybe they were hiding it, okay? Um, not telling you what they were really feeling okay and that's a problem right there you know so you will need to work on communication with this person in the future if you take them back okay that's uh, that is really the question <laughs> there you are going back and forth and back and forth it, it kind of feels threatening to you still because you're still working through these uh, painful feelings of this broken heart you're willing to hear this person out uh, but you are very guarded you don't trust them right now you feel like they have information that they're not telling you. For some of you, I have to say that you may have found something out and you may not have yet confronted them with this information. This could be a decision uh, to uh, decide to confront somebody with this information you found out and you are worried to talk about it because you are afraid of a tower moment so you could be assessing so this could be going a couple of different ways 
you feel this person went too far. Okay, and well, it's like I can't really read you anymore. You know, I thought I knew you, but now I'm not sure. And the reason you're thinking that is because of this page, you see? Okay, you can't see his face, so you can't tell if he's telling you the truth or not. You know, look look at the wolf. The wolf came through the, those, uh, the boundaries that you had, uh, you know, uh, put up. And now, well, now you don't trust them. Here there was a standoff um, for some. This may not have yet occurred, okay? Like I said, it's going to depend where you are in this energy. Um, and so this is a standoff. This is because it has already occurred here. But for some of you, you will not be there yet. Um, yeah, see? The, okay, so some of you have already brought this uh, to a head. Others of you are just thinking of of um, of telling them what you know or what you've found out. Because I feel like initially that's how it begins. You find something out that is very threatening to you. Something that your partner did that maybe you consider to be unforgivable. Some type of deception. All right. And so either you're thinking of confronting them with the information you have or... Uh, it has already begun. There's the assessment going on here of the information that you've come across. And this is shocking. It may have come to you uh, via gossip or some other outside source. Okay. And it's what is causing all of this chaos right now uh, in, in the couple. It's what will precede the confrontation. All right. It's a mystery to you. Uh, it's like a mystery. You. This is something that came at you uh, by surprise and clearly you don't understand it. What happened? You didn't see this coming. Clearly did not see this coming. And now you don't know what to think um, when, when they say that, that they love you and that you are the, still the one for them. You don't know what to believe. You're looking at you're looking at a previous direction that you had in your lantern and you're studying it and you're trying to decide if you still wish to go in that direction because your heart is breaking okay um, there either will be or there was this uh, parting of the ways okay for it depends where you are in this energy and your heart is simply breaking okay you could, if you haven't yet confronted them, then you could be thinking that this is going to happen. You don't trust them. For some of you, you are holding this information and you have not yet released it. Okay. Um, you are about to get some type of wake-up call here in the future. Death is coming up behind you. You're very afraid, but all of this confusion is about to disappear. Okay. Um, with this uh, conversation that's coming up in the future for you, okay? I, I feel like they are going to make it clear to you what what happened, um, and uh, but you may not believe them. But I, I do see that they love you. They do love you. It is here. Um, but like I said, uh, they kept you in the dark about something. They did something. something. There was something that you were in the dark about and there is a deeper emotional um, issue that is behind the action. Okay, There could be deep repressed emotions. Um, there, it could be a, a lack of communication between the two of you. Like really... It, it just you guys just stopped talking and stopped working on the relationship and um, and that could have been what started all of this and that could have been uh, why they did what they did and they when they did it they didn't really think it through that's what I think I think that they didn't really think it through I feel like if they did do a deception and clearly they did right um, 
I feel like it was a mistake. Okay, I feel like they made a mistake. But is it one that you can forgive, you know? Like you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to decide this. Um, maybe you need more time to, to think this through. Um, maybe you need uh, more time, uh, more, maybe more talking is needed more communication, more heart-to-hearts. Maybe you need to open up about your feelings also and how all of this made you feel. I think that on both sides of the fence, there are some hurt feelings. I feel like uh, some hurt feelings are initially what started this, all of this chaos but I think that whatever you did here may not be as bad as you think especially if it was gossip okay you will see another opportunity with this person but it's like you're not trusting them so um, you may take a wait and see uh, type of attitude I think that you do love them but your heart is still breaking and uh, in that respect it's like you're just not ready to forgive them yet but that doesn't mean you won't okay so you just need to heal this wound and um, and have some really good heart-to-heart -heart talks with this person both of you need to learn to talk again and to listen not just with the ears, but with the heart. She's all about the heart. Okay. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.